One artist that inspired this project was Paul Clay, specifically his Castle in the Sun. Notice the geometric shapes, the variation in size, and all the colors. Another artist that inspired this lesson is Mary Blair, and this is a castle for Walt Disney. It was a sketch for a ride called It's a Small World After All. For this project, you'll need a series of painted papers and chop them into squares. Next, you'll get a large white piece of paper, and now it's time to play. Let's place these squares carefully on the paper to decide how we want to design our castle. Will there be tall towers? Will there be bridges? Uh, you decide. Once you have your castle shapes where you want, it's time to glue. So open the glue bottle and make sure that you're not just putting a little dot in the center of the square. I want you to put glue all around the edge of the square and maybe a little squiggle in between. Line your square at the bottom of the page nice and straight and press down. We don't want any parts of that paper sticking up. Then when you glue your next square, make sure that it's lined up nice and cozy to the square next to it. We don't want any gaps in our castles. Before I glue all of my pieces down, there are two places that I wanted to create a bridge. So I used a circle tracer, cut it out, and I'm gonna save that extra paper for another design. Make sure that you still glue every corner and every edge and really press that down. Now that you have your base layer of your castle, let's add some more details. Here's some ideas on how to cut your squares. You could use your scissors and cut the square in half to create two triangles. You could use a circle tracer to create a circle and cut it out. Remember not to throw any of the paper away because we could use that scrap paper for smaller details later. There we go. You can also cut the square into strips. Those strips could be used on top of one square or several. Here I'm going to create a pattern by having one side plain and the other side painted paper. The opportunities are endless. Play around with your papers that you've created. See which is the best solution uh, to create visual balance. Think back to the two artists that we're being inspired by. Paul Clay and Mary Blair. Both very different artists, but really took a playful spin on castles. So were there any details in their castles that you liked that inspired you? This clock was inspired by Mary Blair. In your castle, I want you to add fun patterns and shapes, maybe some towers. What are some things that you can think of that aren't shown in this example that you might wanna try? When you're done adding lots of color and patterns and texture, make sure that you close your glue bottle and I can't wait to see what you do.